So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at their exotic ornaments that they got for Season of the Deep. And this one is interesting considering one of them is questionable for me. And the other one is while happy I, they got the ornament that they've been wanting, unfortunately, the exotic did get nerfed hard. So let me know what you guys think about this. Hunters and Titans, you guys already got yours it's right here. Hunters, I think a lot of the pieces are good. And the example sets are also fire titans unfortunately one of the pieces i'm not the biggest fan of and the other one is super super cool it's just unfortunate that they that the exotic is forever like scarred with the notion that it's trash even though this season it got a pretty good nerve or buff i should say so so let me know what you guys think about the exotics for the hunters titans and warlocks love to know your thoughts on it but other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the fallen sun star and this one got ionic fringe apologies that the quality of the video looks a li little weird right now it's just i wanted to show you all of it and there unfortunately we don't have a lot of avenues for our guardians to show all of that so that's why it looks weird because it's actually from the character customization screen so again apologies but i do want to show you all of it so this one's really cool i think I, and i say i think because like i visually like it like it looks cool but then I'm like, when I look at it more, I'm just like, it kind of looks dumb. Granted, it reminds me more of like, like a Cyclops, like, like Greek mythology Cyclops. And I don't know if I like it or not, because I don't remember if I like Cyclopses. Like, I just don't really care about them, like as a thing. So for me, I don't really, really care about this ornament. I'm going to be real with you guys. If you like it, I mean, more power to you, man. Uh, let me know in the comments below but for me i'm just kind of like it looks basic like it looks fine like i don't i wouldn't have expected this to be the ornament for fallen stun star like that's I, I don't know let me know what you guys think as for our shaders i think it looks fine i don't see any colors that are pissing me off if anything i see a lot of colors that are just okay very like very to the point and like i would expect these for example like equid anger I see no whites. I see no browns. Actually, now that I'm actually looking at it even deeper. No, that's shadows. That's, that was weird. Yeah, uh, I don't see any colors that I'm not really mad. Like I it's just red and that blue steel, which is really, really cool. Same thing for the ancient wisdom. A lot of that's going to be gold and the off color being the like copper color. I don't know what color that would be. So, yeah, overall, I'm I'm happy with what I'm seeing with the shading. As for the example set, I ended up going for Tusk Allegiance robes. Uh, and I, I point, point this one out more because it reminds me of like Keitel's theme of armor, which is why I went with Tusk Allegiance robes. I was like, immediately, this reminds me of Keitel, which is why I'm going to use the Tusk Allegiance set for the arms, arc light gloves, because I want some electricity, because obviously the Ionic Fringe has the electricity going through the needles on the head. And then for the boots, Resolute Champion boots is what we're using uh, just because it looks cool. There's no there's no like further thought process for that. I just think it looks cool. And then the Technologic Bond, because I don't want anything too crazy for the bond. Overall, I really do like this look. And for the shader, we're going to be using Ultra Plasmic just because I really like it. It's really cool. Uh, if I was using like another, like for example, if I was using one of the pieces from the Fortnite skin, then I would ultra plasmic would be really good because ultra plasmic has a really cool blue you guys can see on the resolute champion boot on the thigh that blue right there it would be the color so it was also just a in case i want to combine the fortnite piece in here then it'll actually look really cool because the ultra plasmic has a really good glow for that but also i really like a lot of the textured shadering that this shader has there's like a really cool like lizard skin almost type of thing for this one and yeah, I really like the shader. It's one of my favorite shaders, if I'm being quite honest. As for the next ornament, it's going to be for the Starfire Protocol, finally called Phoenix Fusion. I think this looks amazing, like legitimately cannot wait for this to come out on sale if it even does, because I would not be surprised if they're like, this is shade. This is uh, silver only. I think this looks fucking banging. There is so many things to love about this. Um, it's symmetrical. It looks fucking cool. When we go to shadering, everything shaders. There's no unshaderable piece in this bitch. And I love that. Not only that, the crystals on the actual chest piece change color. That's also really, really cool. I don't have it showcased here, but if you put photo finish on it, 
the crystals actually change the glows, which is really, really cool. I really love this ornament. I think this ornament is one of the coolest ornaments we have in the game right now. Granted, I know some people are going to be bitching about the fact that that it kind of reminds them of the what's it called? the Phoenix uh, Cradle, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, Phoenix Cradle, because it kind of does remind me of that. And to be quite honest, this should have been a Phoenix Cradle ornament. But I do think it looks super, super cool. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders amazingly. Uh, be aware that the Abyssinian Gold has some lettering in there because I didn't turn off the, the thing. But that's other than that, it looks really cool. Like I said, Cryptic Insignia looks really, really cool with it. I think Abyssinian Gold looks really cool with it. But if I'm being quite honest, I think the best one would probably be Ancient Wisdom. Just because Ancient Wisdom has this like old magician feel to it. But I also really like Echo Anger. I think Echo Anger looks really, really cool with it. I just overall am the biggest fan of this ornament. As for the example set, I ended up going for Ancient Wisdom because again, I think Ancient Wisdom just looks amazing with it. For the helmet, Dendrite Shimmer was just such an easy choice because obviously I'm trying to go for this like bird slash majestic person thing. And I think Dendrite Shimmer is just going to go well with this. For the arms, blood lineage gloves is what I'm using because the you actually have claws, which I really like. For the boots, Atavastic Idol boots is what I'm using because I think it's the better pieces of it. I don't like the helmet, even though the helmet has a bird face. I'm not the biggest fan of the shape of it. It kind of looks goofy to me. And then for the bond, Dream Bane bond because of the, the wings, obviously. So there's so many things that I love about this whole set. I think the Phoenix Fusion looks fucking amazing. I do think the Dendrite Shimmer uh, cover looks super cool with this and the Atavastic Idol boots look really cool with this as well. If I, unfortunately we can't combine exotics because I was about to say, you know what exotic would be really good with this? The fucking one with the wings, bro. Claws of Ahamkara would be really good with this and unfortunately we can't do that. So until they start giving us a little bit more bird stuff, I'm just gonna have to wait because I do love this set. I think this set looks super fucking cool and I cannot wait to get this ornament. So Hunter's Titans, Warlocks, let me know which one is your favorite. I definitely think the Hunter's Helmet is my favorite from all of these. Granted, the Phoenix Fusion is super cool and I would put it up there as well. Actually, I'll probably, yeah, Phoenix Fusion and the Hunter's Helmet also look really, really cool. Unfortunately, Titans, I just don't think uh, the, the two that you got are that level. But the arms that you guys got are like almost there. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.